Hey, what's up awesome people? Now I have got the newly released head from Akaruka Clay and this head is just for a limited time for two weeks. You can get it from the store for one London after you pay the fee to join the group. So once you go to the store, I will leave that in the description where to find the group, the name of the group and also the slurl of that group and the URL or the location where the store is at so you can go there and join the group and then you can get your awesome gift which is this head I'm wearing right now is clay and it comes with six stones that was different than the one that came with the female head Cleo which has eight tones so this one is six tones I'm wearing the hat here. I'm going to go through through it. Some of the differences between the two heads, the female and the male body and the male uh, head. So I'm going to just go through the differences. I'm going to th uh, explain all over again what I have done already with the female head. It's self-explanatory. If you like to go to the video that I made for the female head it's a, a lengthy lengthy uh, video you can show everything i have said in details about these huts but anyway so i'm going to review them all again so you go to the store and you get this head and it comes in this package you wear it you add it to yourself and then you unpack it and in the unpack i have also i uh, unpacked the skin tones when you open them you have blazer slink omega pliers and signature omega pliers so these are coming from the body applier here when you are when you get the head you can extract that into this folder and keep it with the head like I did so these are the notes you can just go and read them I'm wearing my own shape I'm not wearing their shape and I'm just using the eyes they provide these gestures you can use for the typing when you type shortcuts also you can unpack it and you can just type in local these words and you can see this is going to trigger your head with these animations these gestures also you can wear the alpha head or alpha head and the eyes as well but I'm wearing a full alpha for my body and my head so I don't need that and then you have this clay developer this is for you to make your own texture to apply them and make them work over this head with the uv maps so i spoke about appliers as well in a recent video you can check that out and then i'm wearing the head version 1.04 then comes the animation hut i heard in the group they had some issues but now it's fixed now you have a re-delivery for that option to get to get it I'm not wearing that because actually I'm wearing the previous um, animation hut from the previous release the one from Leon so this hut works so I'm not sure if this one is I have is defected or is gonna res and work the issue is not ex you're not able to expand it like that but this one here works and they exactly the same version so I'm not gonna make anything here I'm just gonna for the videos I'm just gonna explain what is this and how it works and that's all so you I'm not wearing the piercing but if you want to wear it you can just add it and that's gonna be shown in your teeth hut when I get to that I'm gonna show you what it's inside but already I've done the video for the female one so you can just um, watch it or I'm gonna show you briefly what's inside and that's it I'm gonna wear it anyway so for this one in, I'm here I'm wearing it okay and then I'm not able to see the piercings should have some piercing okay I'm not uh, braces I mean I saw braces for Cleo the female head and it's, there's no braces so when I go to here these should be inside so these this is these are missing I think they are not included but maybe in the re-delivery someone pointed out this to the 
creator and they have uh, eventually bought back the braces if not I think mine from Leon will work because they are exactly the same version and I'm thinking that they will release a fix for that so there should be braces in my version I don't have them but I'm going to do the Leon one with these so you can understand anyway moving on to the first hut you have in the basic section you have skin tones eyebrows but these the skin I think comes with eyebrows built in so I cannot take these eyebrows off and then you have the ears you can hide whichever side you like if you're gonna wear a different mesh ear I suggest that you go to edit in here in appearance and you go to ear and then you lower this ear size to the zero so you have no huge gap when you apply your mesh ear into this section you can adjust it right exactly through this ear hole so you can fix that if you lift it on this bigger size like that when you apply your ear the ear is not gonna be uh, we'll see the, the alpha inside the head and it's not gonna look good so I, I encourage you to downsize the ear hole the ear size in your but this is a bento head so you can uh, in the applier and the in your shape you can edit that and you can fix that then the shyness you can uh, do that and you can see how shiny the skin gets for the face but not the body so this is something that you have to keep in mind if you are going to apply some shyness you can go to your body and also do that for the body if you are wearing a body with that feature so I'm wearing my Gianni 4.7 I'm gonna leave also in the des description and also in my comments what I'm wearing the, the gifts I have I have worn now uh, wearing for this video to so you can understand what I'm, I'm doing here so I'm going also for um, this one comes with off as you can see this is how it the shyness is off so I think the low shyness is okay but if you can go to the high one this is gonna be something else something more than what you want or you can just apply with play with the shyness and take the time to watch how it applies how it goes so this is a very shiny head now I'm gonna be, keep it in the middle a low and then you have the hair base but I'm wearing my already hair base this hides the, the section of the head here it did for my Cleo head for the female and there you go so you can just use that for hair purposes or you can switch it on back again also you have the clear option if I want to clear the hair base that it's applied or I turn this whole layer off so if you turn off the layer it takes off your hair base even if, if you applied that and you can also play with the hiding part in your favor like that but anyway going back to here show that there's a glitch in here right as you can see okay that's something need to be fixed I need to enable back the full layer that goes okay in here but you notice the glitch so that's something to know comes coming in here on the side you have this resets all the th the stuff you have applied for the head like I have applied these tattoos and lip um, mark in here so I can just turn it off by resetting everything from this here you have the minimize you have the close that shuts off your heart closes it this is the social network um, icons you can contact them from that section tinting layer so and in the tinting layer I'm going to show you how to tint these stuff that I have applied they already comes with uh, tintable white 
so I can just tint these parts by selecting which exactly the part I want and then I select from the palette in here I can clear I reset or reset or insert my own RGB and then hit apply to apply from the hue and saturation and light these are the custom uh, made for this N not like the RGB RGB are different but this is the hue and saturation and light controlling which to go dark or light and then this is the hue and saturation how saturated the color should be for this head then you have again on this section you can notice this mark this kills the script of the head so please please make a copy before you hit the delete the script and once you hit that it's gonna be like printed like that so you're not be able to change much in here the scripts are killed so in this HUD you need to have a copy for you to control the head and the scripts so I hope you know what you're doing so moving on to the cosmetics the same thing eyeshadow lipsticks and the blend clear option on and off so lipstick for men is not something we usually go for but if you are in a role play and you role play some role that you need to apply the lipsticks go for it you can also tint it from the tinting option that i spoke about earlier earlier for you the lashes i'm wearing this thick lashes in here need to zoom in to see them Uh, you can notice how they are okay a bit freaky staying away from it and you can also play with the blend to lower it or, or anything then you have the HD layer which I have applied already these droplets in here as you can see on my face so I can go back and tint exactly the eye head so the HD eyeshadows I can play with the blend as well to lower it to make it more and so forth so you have that and then you have the HD lipsticks so as men we have no lipsticks so I have applied this one here or you can just apply like the stitched version on your lips so it only takes one or one to the kiss as well if you have a nice tattoos goes with the kiss you can apply it and then you go to the extra you have the tattoos and these tattoos exactly are on freckles let me show you how it goes maybe the shyness is too much but I have played with the freckles you can see some freckle on my nose but I should be able to see more when I yeah on the side here maybe I was able to see the the freckles these were yeah I think they are changing but not much not as this should go anyway not so much in here then and then you have the brows so these are I can select these to play with if I want but see it's, it's gone white so I'm thinking I'm gonna clear that and leave the ones that comes with the skin here so these are two options to tint to go for white eyebrows and you can select them and then you tint them then you have this beard so I'm wearing some beard from Axis as a gift but I'm going to show you the beard since this is I haven't done for the female version obviously so these are the default beards they have there you go like a shadow of a beard then I like this one here this is the very well artistic form of a beard really but it's there for it has been released before for their previous heads and this is one one of the beards the shapes are, that I like and then you have this beard it's a mustache and a, it's a mustache mostly so nothing much this is yeah same mustache as well 
maybe with a hint of some hair on the cheeks not able to tell that really that hair that I have on in here was applied for from a different gift so I'm keeping that and then you have the full beard which is alright as well to wear it's something up to you to to use so moving on here to the eyes spoke to the eyes these are the human eyes in the upper upper row and then you have the demon or the fantasy eye and the second row and the third row you have the blue and the red eye for human and the red eye for the fantasy or the demon and you can apply and toggle which eye you want to tint so from this slider you can go from right to left or you can tint both exactly the same color that you have picked also you can resize the eyes so you can make them smaller or you can go make them bigger that is something should happen I'm not able to see that yeah it's changing but not a significant not like, like it's not taking over the whole area of the eye so you can see the white and the color of the eye so there, that's something you can play with as well to make it scary if you like the full brightness you need to test that when you are in the dark taking picture in the dark maybe you want the eyes to pop out so you turn on this full bright is gonna lit up in the white area around the eye the shyness as well for the eye you can play with the shyness if you like and the reflection should be exactly over this part upper part of the eye you can make it more or you can make it less reflection so I'm in the middle feels all right for me and the blend of the reflection you can just also play with as you can see the hints of that moving and the glow you can also play with the glow of the reflection and I noticed that it gives you some readings in the local chat I hope they leave that out of it and make it like not visible because I hope it's not typing local with this around people it's gonna make them wonder what's going on in here so I hope this is gonna fix to be fixed now I I'm going to HD eyeshadow from here and I need to let's tint it to blue and I hit apply as you can see the only part that I have targeted turn it to blue now I need to make it darker blue like going down here and then apply it see that's how the light works from lighter to darker if you like to black thing so there you go and this is for the lipstick so let's try to tint that to red and make it in the middle like so and there you go that's how you can play with the tinting options or you can clear as you wish so it's something up to you really in here so that's what the default HUD nothing much except for the beards options and then moving on to the animation so you have the blinking option you can make it slower or faster typing option that trigger triggering the mouth with the typing and happy or you can just select to deactivate that you can have natural look uh, or the happy look or sad or bored or angry so leave it on, on a happy for me it's the semi semi open for the eyes you can make them wide open or sleepy suspicious or you can go for closed that's also up to you 
or you can deactivate that once and for all so I think leaving it to semi open is alright as well and the lips is here you can control to deactivate the lips part the lips parted lips too so there are variation two variations in here or open your mouth or bite your lip and this is how it, he bites his lips and also the sad version okay so we don't want him to be sad so I'm going to go with parted lips one uh, two is fine Mm, no, so deactivating. <laughs> anyway, and then you have the eye control. So you need before you control the eyes. This here link it some some other heads. This is called mirrored, or you exactly doing the exact movement for both eyes because they are linked. If you put that off, you can just control one eye. Like I said, with Cleo, you can use that to your benefit with have squinted eyes or you have a demon eye, you want to make them pop and be scary. So this is an option for you to to go for. So maybe something like that. Well, it's here, he looks retarded because he has human eyes, but I think it's going to be badass with uh, demon fantasy eyes. So anyway so linked so you can move them together make sure that's turn it on because if you are turning this section off you will not be able to move anything from here so moving on to the animation same thing we have like 12 animation to select from so you can just pick one or just auto is gonna select them all and go back and forth and move in these animations from sad to shy to happy, angry, naughty, flirty. So these are gonna be triggered all and they are gonna take some time. You don't have an option to control how many seconds for these animation to work. So you can turn it off back auto and you deselect what you have selected. Expressions, these are useful and they are also working with other heads. So if you have another head, you can wear the animation hat and like I said this is from Leon uh, animation hat so this is working fine with clay and works fine with my other heads that I have so I can use this for my advantage to make him do animations more if my head that has no animation but it's Pinto so these expressions is gonna be useful for either female heads or male heads so this is something I can take advantage of and make use of so you can stop the animation in here you can pose for a picture with the expression and you can also select the de de delay time for each animation if you have multiple animation in here selected you cannot pose it because you have selected multiple but you can control the delay for how many seconds the animation should the expression should work and for the another expression to kick in so this is something for the delay here so that's all for the animation hut let's talk about the teeth hut anyway so I'm talking about the braces I need to find let me close the mouth and let me find my braces so the braces I should wear these on and you can see now I have them on it's freaky but anyway so that's for the braces, let me close the mouth and go for the teeth. So in here I spoke, you can control the gum section for the basic, you can control the gum color, teeth color or you can hide them or show the teeth, let me show them you that. You can make the teeth disappear, not just a tooth but the whole teeth are gone because you have remove this option and then you can control the color of these teeth and then you have the tongue you can also hide the tongue or bring it back on so you can see that and then you can control the colors and the bloody version for the vampire version or you have the monster and vampire option in here which is a neat feature you can also hide 
lip tattoo with the blood or show it. I did that with the Cleo head. And you can also wear these two virgin, the monster and vampire teeth combined together. So this is something that you can keep that in mind when you are playing with the head. Also you have the anatomy for the teeth and you can select like a missing, a missing tooth option or big two teeth in from the front or the chirped, the cracked or broken, broken teeth, broken tooth. So one tooth is broken in here and one tooth is missing in here and you can go for the normal teeth as well you can select that so moving on here to the uh, gems let me hide the braces um, so the braces are on and you can control from um, this slider you can go for the upper and you can select the elastic part to color to color it in a different color that you like maybe this color for you or this so this is gonna be the color section in here and then you can control the hook that connects these uh, elastics together in the braces you can tint the color for that or the wire or you can go for the bottom braces and do the same that you did for the upper or you can leave it in the middle to control both to be exactly the same. I need to go take off my braces so to show you the gyms. Now let's see if the gyms are here. I need to enable them first like that. And then you have to color them so you can see they are here. These are the gyms. You can hide or show as much as you like so this is here working and you can color them from here this side moving on to the piercing so first of all you need to show the piercing like these in the on the tongue so you have to enable them first like so okay and now need to get my tongue maybe outside so there you go you can color piercing I'm not sure if you that colors all the piercing to the, the color that you have selected so this is going to play with the piercing colors you need to zoom in maybe a little more and try to adjust it to something that you can see work and work with controlling how much shyness on the piercing or how dark you want it to be so this section you can play with as well so it's up to you with the gyms and the braces make sure that it's included in that version and you have pretty much everything that I have spoken here about the head for you to play with and find what you like to do with it okay now that leaves me that I'm going to tell you that the eyes are not Omega compatible but the head is so what does that means so when you go to the store you can get your Omega kit for for Akaruga or you can go to Omega store and get this kit it works fine with both female and, and male versions so it's gonna help me to apply something like eyebrows or the hair base or the beard that I was wearing earlier and even Omega skins if I have that so but the eyes will not be affected if you have Omega appliers for that so to get eyes you can go to slag girl store or banana banshee and you can find eye appliers i'm going to show you the ones that i have already from banana banshee and i have made video about it so here are my pliers that i have got from banana banshee as october as gift 
okay so this, these were a gift that I have and you can see the different brands the Omega version these are not gonna work because these eyes are not Omega compatible so there's nothing for you here to see much it's not working but if you have like Omega eyes which comes as gifts from Catwa stores they are unrigged so you can wear them so you have the benefit to apply the Omega appliers if you have them for the eyes or you can apply Catwa applier with the Catwa unrigged eyes that they are gift at the store so these are the, the options that I have that I can select from my applier for the eye to work see now it's working and I have applied my eyes that's how simple as it sounds so this is how it works you have you make sure that you have appliers for the deluxe Akaruga heads so I will leave also in the description the URL for banana benchy if you like to go to the store and check for other appliers and slick girl if you also like to go there and check something that you want also they I have mentioned them in my previous video for the female head which I also will leave in some part in here to point out that you can go and review all the things that I have said and enjoy your new Akaruka clay head and see how things will go for you so I'm going to also leave everything that I'm wearing in the description so make sure to check that out <clears throat> make sure that you follow me in, on Facebook you can my pages or you can follow me on in Instagram Flickr I have those I have Twitter as well so you can follow me there if you can ask me anything about the head I, I don't work with Akaruka but from my as an as a user as a, from my experience I will try to give you my answer to, to tell you what to do like we showed this here like the glitch I showed you I'm going to talk to the group and send them the video and show them how the head reacts when I did the hiding part so these are the things that they need to work on and fixing also the script that talks in local which was something that I didn't like much and I will also mention the skins I have both the skins for Akaruka from Igazu store and I have the skins that I can show you I have so in the presets that you expand in here and you can save up to six version of the head that what whatever you have done so I have saved before the video I'm going to show you the skin that I have picked from Igazu to go with it and as you can see it did apply the eyes are turned on so I need to like it told you to go to make the full bright off see that so it saves everything exactly how you use the head for it so that tone does not match their tone as you can see it's darker and they they have a lighter tone in here so that's at Igazu I'm gonna leave in the description so you can apply this here but also I can mention Stray Dog if you have his skin and you want to use the Omega skins for Stray Dog he has Omega skins which he makes for the logo head so if you have the logo head you know it's Omega compatible as well and the applier are Omega as well so if you have that sadly that's just only for the light tones like three and four and five I think or or one two three and four I have the four tone version so I can apply that and I have also the skin from Stray Dog I'm gonna show you how it works so this is an applier for from Stray Dog for logo heads and I am wearing the Omega 
relay I'm going to apply the skins as you can see that did work maybe the sim colors are not so good let me switch to that so you can see now the Omega applier really applies and works fine for my head as you can see and these gonna match stray dog so if you have that you can go to the store and find the logo appliers for the logo head and you can wear it with your Omega compatible head you can apply this on, on different heads as well if you have them so that's something I wanted to point out and shout out for others because people asking if stray dogs makes Omega skins so he doesn't but for the logo head it like talks and speaks with Omega very easily and that's the appliers he has used to control that and it works fine with uh, my head so it's not Akaruka yet applier but I think you can also find Akaruka appliers at um, Stray Dog and you can use that to your um, usage, you can, your own usage, you can come over and just select whatever you like. So I'm going to match my skin tones. I was wearing number six in here. And like I said, this is the shape that I I used. I can show you the other shape that comes with the head actually, as you can see. So it's pretty different, but I used that shape because it's there's something not proportionate in the body with this shape we have so I don't use that I use mine but anyway this is the shape that comes with it and this is the voice activating animations you can activate them when you are enabling the mic to work the don't the mic does not work on, on the sim so I normally also don't activate them but you can activate them and you can start talking and this is gonna trigger these animations when you talk on the mic so I hope what I have said is so far is useful for you you have understood pretty much how to use this head if you want something from me like the shape or anything that I have um, pointed out I can try to maybe sell it but not much if I, I really encourage others to go playing with the sliders and going for the shape and the looks they want so this is a bento head that's the use of the bento to change the sliders and customize your head to your own preferences if you don't like how it looks please feel uh, encouraged to go to the shape option and you start fiddling around with the sliders until you come up with the skins uh, the shape that you like or you can find like store that sells skins for this head they might have their shape included also in the demos you have tried some demos and you notice that the shape is modifiable and you can notice that the, the shape they have made for their head or whichever head they have suits you then you can go for it and you can just tweak it and make it your own that's a free tip for you so it's not something that you have to worry about much if you're not able to edit your shape and make it look perfect it takes time and you can just play with it until you are satisfied you can ask for advice you can post pictures and people point out what they don't like much about the feature of the head and you can go back and, and fix that I'm thinking about making a video as well how to shape the heads and propo make proportionate shape for the head with the um, usage of the many useful like tutorials out there for how to draw a face so what's the um, ratio and how to do that and make your head looks more appealing more natural to the human face so anyway thank you for watching thank you for tuning in thank you for support and i hope to see you in my next video